Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with Jao Felix as Atletico Madrid outcast Jao Felix is pushing so hard to complete Barca move before the summer comes to a close. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Jao Cancelo as the Manchester City fullback have already reassured that he will play for Barcelona next season. Of course, his agent George Mendes have assured Barcelona of the same. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Every passing hour is imbued with an air of intrigue and uncertainty as the countdown to the transfer window's closure draws closer and closer. As speculations run rampant, Barcelona continues to be one of the hot topics on the market. After losing out on Neymar, as the Brazilian signed for Al Hilal, links between Barca and Joao Felix continue to intensify. As previously reported, the failure to sign Neymar has opened the door for the potential signing of Joao Felix. Now, according to Sport, Felix is desperate for Barca to succeed with the signing and getting to dress as a Blaugrana by the end of the summer transfer window. The Portuguese international is adamant that if he leaves Atletico, he will only sign with the Catalans and he is prepared to take a chance up until the final day of the market if required. The player's environment sent his, this message to the club's hierarchies after he had already publicly declared interest in joining FC Barcelona. However, for Xavi, Felix is not the priority at the moment and he places emphasis on the signing of an attacking midfielder and a right back before shifting his focus towards the Portuguese international. Felix's relationship with Diego Simeone has reached the point of no return and there were uncomfortable moments that the player faced in the game against Granada, talking about Atletico's opponent in La Liga. When, when João Felix walked outside to warm up, all the supporters at the Twitter um, Molipotano booed him viciously and made it clear that they no longer wanted him to you know represent the atletico badge felix has been put up for sale by the club for months now but he is blocking most of us since he is fixated on playing for the catalan giants Barca are in constant contact with the player's agent george mendes who maintains an excellent relationship with Juan Laporta, but with more urgent matters to deal with in the market and departures needed up front, this transfer saga is likely going to go right down to the wire. Obviously, it's going to the wire from the look of things because we have barely two weeks to go for the window to slam shut, and yet we are still talking about um, still talking about other signings that need to be made and i don't know which time we can use to bring those two signings that javi have been requesting talking about another attacking midfielder and also a right back before they can start going for jao felix if everything is done and of course as it stands right now um i pers i personally in my own opinion um going for jao felix would be a good idea because Right now, we don't have those players right up there who can score goals much. I think Felix can do just that. He, he has eye for goal more than many of the wingers that we have. And Javi does not want to see that. I don't know why. 
because for me going for another midfielder is useless we have a lot we have already enough midfielders we have enough of the midfielders it's okay but since as javi has the ultimate power for this transfer since becoming Barca balls it won't surprise me that laporta and his board members will just have to go with it right which is even more annoying it's more annoying because anyway the good thing is at the end of the day if javi uses players and things don't work out for him then when the time comes for him to be sacked he has no excuse because the the Barca board have been giving him all what he wanted right and i think laporta does just want to prevent such a situation so better just give him what he needs since he has the power to decide on some key transfers so for Jao Felix, the player have always talked about Barca move, especially that is very viral public interview where he praised Barca, saying that it has been a, a dream for him to one day play for Barca. It will be a dream come true if Barca move for him and stuff like that. You know, all those things were very annoying to Diego Simeone's ears as well as the Atletico fans. And it didn't come as a surprise at all, you know, when the player was booed quite heavily at the Metropolitan the Metropolitano against Granada because they know that the player's heart is not still with them. He wants to join with Barca. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Journalist Matteo Moreto was reported via Relevo that accepts for an any last or for any last changes, Manchester City fullback Chao Cancelo will join Barcelona this summer. Barca have long been in the race to sign Cancelo before the end of the summer window and why several possibilities have already been explored. It is said that they are now ready to submit their first former bid for the defender. Considering the current state of finances, Barca plan to use the money they received from Usman Dembele sale for this operation and a lot more with a purchase option has been formulated for the defender. Barcelona president Juan Laporta and super agent Jorge Mendes are on excellent terms. The two have catered quite a, a few deals in the past and it is said that the duo is personally involved in Cancelo's operation. This comes after Xavi insisted on the need of signing an experienced right back. The manager was once again forced to use Ronald Araujo on the right side of defense against Getafe. While the Uruguayan has been decent at the very best in that position, the team does need a seasoned fullback to cover up the spot. Mareto writes that apart from Cancelo deal, Mendes is also insisting Barca sign Felix. The super agent understands the deal is complex considering Atletico Madrid's demands, but he will try until the very end to make that work. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.